Very right, time for plant. Because it thinks the moist. Yes. Of what rain fall, the natural rainwater better than the, the pipe water, the chlorine in it. Well, first of all, I want to use this opportunity to commend uh, this group of young people. Jamaica Millennium Vision for you. JMVY, a very, a, a name that captures a lot of things. It speaks about country first. Uh, millennium means the new generation looking ahead. And the most important thing is that is the youth that is leading this initiative. And so we are pleased in South Central St. Catherine to be partnering with these young people who are very much conscious of the environment and climate change. And they have taken the step to participate, especially on this day, to raise the level of awareness and also giving back because what they are doing, they are planting all these trees, which of course will benefit future generations. We'll be going to a number of communities, not only schools within the constituency, but communities as well, because we're going to Sydney Gardens, Horizon Park, and down at Kingswood to ensure that we spread the love and bring the level of awareness, not only at the school level, but at the community level as well. We are very, very excited to be a part of this national tree planting activity. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, we're encouraging nature. So a little later on, we'll have cool shade and we'll teach the students what type of trees they are as soon as face-to-face -face comes. And it will be beneficial to us in the long run. As you can see, we don't have a lot of trees on the compound. So we are grateful to have been a part of this initiative. Talk to me about even your constituents. It's not much dedicated green space for young people where instead of being cloaked in the home, even though it's COVID time, mm -hmm. they sit on a bench under a tree and relax. Well, you know, what you just raised is, is, is really an important point. Uh, I know for a fact that we have built out a number of um, fields, football fields and netball courts to raise the level of physical activity within the communities. Um, and we have um, seen where the, the, the new building codes uh, for new communities, because we have quite a number of communities, new communities being established mm -hmm. in this constituency. See, this is where most of the available lands are for housing solutions. A, a section of the community must be there mm -hmm. for, for, for green area, right? So we are cognizant of the importance of improving the green area, not only for, from an environmental perspective, but more importantly, to ensure that we provide that space for our children to socialize. Um, especially when COVID is no longer with us, uh, to socialize and to um, enhance physical activities. But nothing beats that physical interaction. It teaches them how to even communicate with each other, how to relate to other persons, especially persons from diverse backgrounds. So the school environment, the community environment provides that area where you can get that mix, you know what I mean? So it is something that we need to ensure that we, we strike that balance. Isn't there something intrinsically wrong with how we go about finding these spaces and using farmlands for housing? I think something is wrong because the greenness, it contributes to our oxygen and we're realizing that we're having a lot of problems, a lot of diseases coming about and the fact that you're just clearing away all these places and making them into housing schemes it takes away that oxygen that Jamaica is supposed to get. And if we continue like this, in a couple of years, that 20, 20, 30 vision that we want to see, that will not be possible. So I think projects like these and having a national plant a tree day is something that we should really invest in as Jamaicans and we should continue to do this on a yearly basis. And I must add that this is really happening in the urban areas. I went around the island um, a month ago and when I tell you that there's a, there's a lot of green spaces in some of these parishes, you can't even believe it. But then, the right here so in Spanish town, in the corporate area, everybody's just clustered up. If you're going to have housing developments or those things, kind of spread them out. Develop the other parishes, that's a solution to ensure that you, you preserve these green spaces. What would you recommend in a way that would leave some open for the greenery of it for the sake of it as well as the allow for housing well one one thing they can do is once they they start building each household will have to plant a tree so that will encourage new growth and the the green areas won't die out we look at as a prime example what we did at um, the there at the at the, at the, at the, at the park mm -hmm. 
one could on a smaller scale in many instances could we replicate that say in our 14 parishes could there be at least one major green area such as that it's more than possible i believe that you can have more than one such green area um in a parish for example portmore i know could accommodate at least one the linset area could accommodate another one the Spanish town area could accommodate one and even in the Olava era based on the population density and the spread. So um, what we need to do now as, 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 as a government is to ensure and as well the local planning authority to ensure we look just beyond just building out houses. Um, we also have to ensure that the, the sustainable development that we are engaging in the right now. And I'm sure that in the very near future you will be seeing a number of initiatives geared towards improving that component of one's development.